Is Mari. Hey guys. <laughs> You're a gamer, right? Yeah, I dabble. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we're killing bitches. That's what we're doing. We died. To help us build the gun, we went to Rick Hilgner, who's a veteran in the field of prop making. He's worked on Fifth Element, Starship Troopers, and probably your favorite, the Power Rangers movie. Oh, Green yeah. Ranger, call me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go inside and check out Rick's station. Rick, this is Mari. What's up? Nice to meet you, man. Hey, yeah, welcome to the madhouse. I have got a challenge for you then. Are you familiar with the game Half-Life 2? Oh, I love Half-Life, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so here's the challenge. I would like for you to build a gravity gun. Gravity gun? Yeah, a gravity gun. Half-Life 2's gravity gun pulls objects from the environment and then uses them as projectiles against the enemy. Take that. Do you think it can be done? Well, I, I have to check my, my supply of unobtainium in the back and make sure that... It's well, easier to get than adamantium, yeah? Yeah, yeah. When, now, when are you going to need this by, though? I mean, I'm going to need at least... Uh... We're going to give you three days. <laughs> you know what? We'll see what we can do. We're going to shoot for the practical stuff. We've got a reaction chamber. We've got a rotation. It's and... like a rotisserie. Yeah. Like you can roast a chicken. You could roast a chicken with that shirt. I know. <laughs> this is probably made of plutonium, yeah? I look. <laughs> Please, my eyes, you're hurting. <laughs> These would be, uh, I guess, magnetic field restriction modules or something like this. It's a lot of fancy lingo, but I can probably go pick it up at like a Costco. Right? <laughs> Do they come in family packs? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Plutonium comes in family packs. Okay, nowadays. good. I, I'm pretty sure I have a coupon for that too. Yeah, I'll pick one up. P pick up two of them if they're that cheap. All right, well, that looks awesome. So you've got three days now. I want this thing in real life. Good luck. I'm going to need it. <laughs> We're getting ready to do this uh, impossible uh, gravity gun. This, I think, would work as our containment vessel. We need a drive system, so I got a few of these lazy Susans. This is a magnesium shell, perforated, uh, almost like a microwave. DEFCON plastic welder is the best overall epoxy that you can buy. Hey, beats the hell out of flipping burgers. <laughs> These are magnetic inducers, which will keep the plasma inside. You behaving yourself, chicken? That's the first thing that's gonna be levitated. It's a beautiful day here in Burbank, manipulating gravity. It's a crazy thing! It's crazy! We're ready to assemble the core. There's 20 different ways to do something, but uh, based on the time factor on this, I'm trying to keep things as standard as possible. You'll find a better way to do something, you'll improve upon old techniques, or, or come up with something completely new. Right now, everything was based on, on what is here. You got our rubber bands now. There's a uh, track on here. I modified this screw tip. This is our driver system. The rubber bands didn't work very well. And they just stretch a little bit too much. They need more of a direct drive. Nope. Normally, I would uh, I would go go to the store and grab exactly what I need, but I'm kind of improving here. But the key is get the job done in time allotted. Sometimes you gotta work with what you got. Yesterday, we had some problems with the drive system, so I modified the drive system to be like a tire on a road. This little adjustment here will keep it pressed down onto the drive. Little Jimmy Johnson from Houston, Illinois asks, how do you make the joints? So basically, here's our parts. They're all measured out and everything. We're going to chop this up. And this is the electrode. There you go, it's like a bullet tip. Time for some little fiddly bits. Pre prepping these with springs. There's something about that. What I need to do is find out how far down they want to go. Put it up there. I just wanted to go from here to here. And I kind of strategically welded in these little eyelets here for the cable to go through. And then that's going to come back. Eventually, this is going to get tied into this handle, which that will control this. Getting towards the end of the build. I've been up all night working on this. All the guts are in it, it's ready to go, and I, I rigged up a light in it. And 
Now it's time to start making it look like what it's supposed to look like. This is casting urethane. So I'll form fit this by a jigsaw, band saw, and then sculpt it. Uh, this is sheer form is for knocking stuff down. And this is where sculpting comes in. So I wanna I wanna put a taper, like an angle. Let's go like this. Kind of just start sculpting. Stay within the lines. So that'll give us a really cool kind of paper on there. It's good to have little mistakes in sometimes because the little mistakes are what makes it realistic. If it's too perfect, it can be computerized. So again, I'm ready to prep for paint. What I want to do is mask off the areas that I don't want to get primed on. So in order to hold this in position, I whipped up these little pegs. So we're gonna get ready to turn these. Watch this. I'm gonna put some cool little interesting fiddly bits in here. I'm gonna form it down into a slope down the inside. Caulking, little tiny caulking and make little beads so it looks like it's been welded together. So it looks like burn marks, like it's like the end gets hot. Just want to kind of rough it up. So we're here, day three, and day it's three. looking like, I'm pretty sure this is not like a dog. This is the gravity gun. Uh, yeah? yeah, this is it. It costed me a relationship, a parrot, and an engine in order to get to this point, but uh, here we are. Sounds about right. Here we are, so uh, if you're ready to take a look at her, we'll... I'm stoked. <laughs> So did you sleep at all during these three days? <laughs> sleep? What sleep? Yeah. <laughs> sleep is for the week. Okay, so let's say I am an average cosplayer and I want to make this. Could I possibly do this being like an yeah, average sure. welder? Uh, yeah, an average welder. Even if you don't know how to weld, you can still make it out of particle board, wood, and yeah, a basic gamer could, you know, with some, some construction skills could build something like this. So there's hope for us who are less skilled. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about how the lights are working? Yeah, it's got a 12 volt battery pack, buttons underneath here, and then drive system where you drive with your thumb. So, you get your pen here. We see it with a little bit of mood lighting. So, quick question for you is this thing live? From what I could find from the local hardware store, it is. It is, it will work. So it does That's work. That's why I said it, 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 it threw my bird across the room. Go ahead, but just, just be careful with it. All right, here we go. What, why are you all well, worried? It's not no. like I'm spelling or driving. I mean, I know I'm working with a lot of... Oh! Damn truck! Why are you all worried? Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, let's try another one. What that gnome? Oh, you got the one. Yeah, the no. gnome. Why not? My mother's secret garden. Sorry. Oh, All right. Well. My mom's gnome. All right. Well, don't worry about it. Not that. No, 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 no. Yeah. Bitch, go wild. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Get your
your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.